Okay, so let's look at how we're going to do a virtual series circuit activity or series circuit lab. So everyone has a copy of this document and you'll, got it, you'll get it from Google Classroom. Uh, here's the link that will take you to where we can do our virtual circuits lab. Uh, when you're here, you're going to click on this play button. And it should, here we go, and then just click on lab. And this is the screen that you have. Over here on this side on the left, these are the different components that you have. And what we want to do, if we go back to our diagram here on our lab, we want to build this circuit. So this is the same one that we had in class. We've got a 9 volt battery, 2, 3, and 1 ohm resistor. So the battery is over here. You can bring this down. Uh, and we need three resistors, 1, 2, and then 3. Uh, and you could actually change so the orientation, so that one's facing up like this. And then we can connect them together with different wires, and we can change uh, the lengths of wires. If you don't want something, you can just put it right back. If you scroll over here, you see there's a lot more things that are available for our circuit. Uh, if we look on the bottom right over here, this shows that we're going to use the pictures. But what we want is a schematic diagram, so we're going to click over here, and it will change everything. Uh, the other thing before we start connecting these is up here on the top right where it says show current. We don't want that, so we're going to unclick that one. Um, if we do click it and we have it on, we definitely want the conventional current. That's the way that we've been doing it in class. But uh, if we have that put on, then you end up with these arrows that go through the circuit, and it can be a little bit confusing, too many things on there. So we're going to just go um, and unclick show current. Uh, and then all we have to do is just connect these together. So we can connect those resistors together. And we want to connect this battery to the rest of it. So what we can do is maybe use some wire for this. So I'll bring a wire down, and you just click here, and you can drag that down. And we'll click a wire on this side, down like this. And then we'll bring one more wire in. So then it's connected. The current actually is flowing right now. If we go and we click on Show Current, you can see that we've got these arrows that are going around, but like I said, that's going to just make it kind of confusing. So we'll keep that part turned off. If we look at our diagram, we need a 9-volt battery. So if we click on the battery itself, with this window opens up, and conveniently it's already at 9 volts. Uh, you can use the slider or the arrow keys to change the voltage. Right? I'm just going to put it back to 9 volts. We can do the same thing for each resistors, right? So if we look here, we've got 2, 3, and 1 ohms. So I'll click on this one. We'll use the slider. This one was 2 ohms. This one over here was 3 ohms. And then this one was 1 ohm. So now this circuit is exactly the same as the one that's right here on our diagram. 9 volt battery, 2, 3, and 1 ohms. We've got 9 volt battery, 2, 3, and 1 ohm resistor. If you wanted to break the circuit in any way, <clears throat> any part of it, just where the dots are, you can just click it, and then you can un, uh, undo it by hitting the scissors button over here. If you want to put it back together, you can realign it and put it back on. Now, we can also measure um, the voltage and the current that's flowing through this. And these are the tools over here. So we'll take the ammeter first, one that reads current. It's got this little bullseye on it. And if you recall, the current in a series circuit is the same everywhere. Now, we already did this in class. And do you remember how many amps there were? I'm pretty sure there was 1.5. So if we take this bullseye and just drag it over, we've got our 1.5 amps. And it doesn't matter where we put it. It will always be... 1.5 amps. When you're done with this, you can just put it back. The voltmeter, this one's big. Remember, voltage is always across. And so the across part is you have to make sure that you're on the dots to go across the things that you want. And you can take these leads, and so we'll just put one over here on this side of the battery, and we'll take this one on the other side of the battery, and it gives us our voltage, 9 volts. If there's a negative that's there, no big deal. All we have to do is just change the position of the red and the black lead. If I want the voltage across any of the resistors, I can do the same thing. I'll put this one over here and this one over here, and then it gives me a, a voltage. And this is actually the voltage drop that we know how to calculate. We can do the same thing for all the other resistors. Now, 
This, we'll put this back over here. Uh, this data, we're then gonna put into this table. So you can type in what the battery's voltage is, uh, what the resistance, uh, the voltage drops are for each of the resistors, and then what is the current that's flowing through each of those resistors. That's why it says resist I1. So that's resistor one, resistor two, and resistor three. This is a series circuit. So for a series circuit, uh, we have to add up all the resistors. So if we add these up, we've got two plus three plus one, that's six. What you can do is you could take one of these resistors, change it to six ohms, and then you would have an equivalent circuit. So what I'd like you to do then is you're gonna take a screenshot of each of the circuits that you're going to build. So this one is the series circuit one. And depending on whatever device you have will determine how you take the screenshot. Uh, and then you can just paste it right in. Uh, so take a screenshot of this, and then you can paste it in here. And then to, draw, to make the equivalent resistance uh, circuit, we can disconnect, we'll cut this one out, and this one out, put it back. We'll cut this one out over here and we'll put that one back. And we can, let's put a new wire in like this. And remember the equivalent resistance of that circuit was uh, six ohms. Let me go back up here. See, look, we've got two plus three plus one is six. So if I click on this resistor and I slide this up so that it's six ohms, and I measure what the current is, it should still be 1.5 amps. And it is, right? Across this one, across the battery. So that's how you do this, um, that's how you do this circuit lab. And using this animation on the website, we'll do a few more of these. There'll be, there'll be another lab that we're going to do a little bit later that does series and parallel circuits. But I would like you to build that circuit, fill in this table. There's a couple of questions to be answered and then take your screenshots and just paste them in here and then submit this assignment through Google Classroom. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. You can post your questions either on Google Classroom or you can send me an email.